Officials from the Laos and Chinese governments, as well as representatives of the private sector, businesses and investors gathered in Vientiane for the second Belt and Road Forum on Laos-China cooperation. The one-day event was held on Thursday, the 7th of December, to review the results of the implementation of activities and projects in various fields and hold discussions on broadening cooperation, economic and commercial exchanges, and investment by the public sector and Lao and Chinese businesses. Ceremony, Deputy Prime Minister Professor Dr. Kikiao Kaikampi Tun said the One Belt, One Road Laos China Cooperation Discussion Forum reflects the fact that the two countries, as neighbors, actively support each other by increasing and promoting cooperation in economic affairs, trade, investment, the exchange of information, culture, and technology, as well as people to people interactions through tourism. <laughs> Laos supports the initiative of President Xi Jinping, such as the Global Development Initiative, the Global Security Initiative, and the Global Smart Initiative. We have proactively implemented the One Belt, One Road cooperation framework in many fields, such as building the Laos-China Railway, which was officially opened in 2021, with passenger trains running between Yuenchan and Kunming since April this year. This success has brought great benefits to the people of Laos and China as well as other countries in the region, which is an important contribution to economic development cooperation, trade, investment, and travel between the peoples of the two countries, and internationally, which is increasing day by day. Laos will continue to cooperate with China to use the railway as a road of friendship, cooperation and development, a road of satisfaction and happiness for the peoples of Laos and China, as well as for other people in the region. <laughs> Minister of Information, Culture and Tourism Mrs. Son Sovan Venyaked said this meeting was convened to strengthen the cooperative relationship between Laos and China to promote mutual understanding and friendship between the peoples of the two countries and to increase exchanges and cooperation between the media, culture and tourism sectors of Laos and China. Investment in tourism by Chinese companies is increasing day by day, especially the development of tourism facilities in provinces along the Laos-China Railway Corridor. This has contributed to the goal of developing the Laos-China Railway as an economic corridor that generates huge income for Laos. Such efforts will help to resolve Laos' economic problems, attract more and more tourists, and promote Laos in the international arena. The integration of passenger transport services will serve to bolster tourism among countries in the region and the world, making Laos the center of integration between ASEAN countries and China, as well as integration between Laos and the world. <laughs> Fu Hua, president of Xinhua News Agency, said the forum is one of the many important cooperation outcomes signed under the joint witness of the two countries' top leaders in October, and Xinhua will make its due contribution in serving the Belt and Road Cooperation, boosting the building of the China-Laos community with a shared future, and deepening the friendship between the people of China and Laos. Xinhua is willing to exchange and share with the Lao media in news gathering, economic information, collection, and services personnel training and provide assistance as much as it can, Fu said. When Laos assumes the rotating chairmanship of ASEAN, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, next year, 
Xinhua will focus on related activities and the achievements of Lao economic and social development and widely support them through multi-language and multi-form channels. The second Belt and Road Forum for Laos-China Cooperation, jointly organized by the Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism of Laos, Xinhua News Agency and the Laos Chinese Chamber of Commerce, was held in Lao capital Vientiane on Thursday.